All right, one of the guys you all have waited a long time to see. One of the more confident guys in the contest, and uh, apparently he has good reason for that confidence. He was in the top three in his very first Olympia two years ago. Last year, he was met with all sorts of pre-contest challenges. We've talked great. about that time and time again. Pep, we talked to him in the pump-up room before he went out, and he said to us that he is 15 Sorry, pounds yes. heavier going into tonight's pre-judging than he was one year ago going into last year's Friday night pre-judging, and it shows. Oh, it shows in spades. I mean, I think right now he's the front runner from who we've seen. Uh, his conditioning looks fantastic. He looks full. Um, you know, when he stands from the front, Dan, it just looks like muscles hanging off him. And look at his look at the condition in his glutes and his back and his hamstrings. And he also said that he was ready to be Mr. Olympia. And uh, as of right now, I don't think anybody's arguing with him. He looks fantastic. And for my money, right now. Uh, we haven't seen Jay yet, but for my money right now, he's the front runner in this contest. You know, when you talk about Phil Heath, you, you talk a lot about, we know, we know the body parts are there, we know the physique flows, um, we know he can get into shape, but there's that other factor with Phil's physique, the color and the way it presents itself, his stage presence, his confidence, how he walks out onto that stage, and a lot of people feel like Phil brings an energy to the stage that carries him. And earlier this year, six months ago, he competed in the Arnold Classic. After prejudging, he held a three-point lead. Kai Green ended up overtaking him, winning the contest. And uh, don't think for a second that Phil doesn't have revenge on his mind here this weekend. Yeah, well, he has everybody on his mind. And, and this is a much better version of Phil Heath than what we saw at the Arnold. Uh, Conditioning-wise, very similar, but fullness-wise, just look at Dan. Look at his shoulders and arms. It's like they're just hanging off his body. And we saw his back a minute ago that was long a, a criticized body part for Phil, and it looked great. Right now, right, I don't see anybody else that we've seen so far that, that, that would beat Phil. Please.